Right, I was to stop for five and have a chit chat, eh? The update on the uh, Ribble bike, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> uh, where do we start? So I ordered it December. I was told it would be, I can't remember, now was it April, early April? That got pushed back to May. Then the May got pushed back to June. So we're now in the middle of May. So I'm, you know, fully expecting to get another message near the end of the month telling me it's going to get pushed back again. I've looked at all the, uh, the reviews on Trustpilot and uh, it doesn't bode well. A lot of damning uh, reviews saying bike ordered six months later, still no bike, eight months, you know, it's just, and it just seems to be excuse after excuse. Yes, we know that there's been a pandemic and obviously what's going on over in Ukraine and stuff, but you know, the, there's only so many excuses they can, uh, you know, I'd rather they just say, look, we can't get it, or give us my money back, you know, this, that, the other is causing this issue, but they don't, it's just very vague and it's very poor from Ribble, so, you know, I haven't even got the bike yet and I'm already mourning, so I just hope when I do get it, it's, uh, it's all good, but uh, yeah, still no joy. I was hoping to have it this time in the spring and do some, you know, some good trips out on it and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, that's not to be, not to be. Right, on a happy or not. Still rocking the old uh, Cannondale with the uh, e-bike system on it. Swapped the tyres, I've took the knobblies off and gone back to the Swalby Marathons for the, uh, the better weather. It does make a difference, you find a difference. As soon as you put them on the speeds, just woof. You don't get as much drag. But uh, yeah, all's going good. Still going fine, so nothing to report negative which is what you want to hear um, it's just a 250 motor you're not going to get massive speeds I've been coming in comfortably there 17, 18 mile an hour just steady away so it does what uh, what I need it for which is mostly I just use it for commuting to work I don't have far to go but it's just easier than getting the car out Okay, so I have sold one of my bikes. I'm down to three now. I was making room for when that ribble was uh, turning up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit optimistic there. So I've got rid of my me, uh, me mountain bike, my full sus one. I just wasn't using it. Not to which potential anyhow. So I've still got this Cannondale with the uh, kit on it. Um, I've got my Cannondale Cad X, which is my gravelly type bike. Um, and I've still got my Trek road bike, which obviously I use in the, the better weather, which is lighter weight. I've had it a good few years, but it's still going strong. I'll give it a good service, not so long ago. 
and that's you know just going fine so yeah but this one yeah still still happy with it and I've got me new <laughs> I don't know if you don't want to see it like but little camera setup I've just put like a little mount on with this thing here you can turn it right around and it pointed up towards myself or you can turn it back around point it towards the road so yeah that one's it's on a Garmin mount I managed to make some kind of fitting for it so I've got my pod sack that my camera this one pops in here and that's just me me bar pack but yeah it's not a bad afternoon the blooms all out it's all looking good but uh, still a bit blowy nothing like what it was <laughs> yesterday it was absolutely awful yesterday it's like the back end right let's push on a little bit further Quick look around here. Oh, found a bloody pothole, big style. Oh, watch me silly, there's loads of them. Oh, yeah, bugger. Here we go. Here's the Vulcan, the beast. Yeah, what a beast. When that uh, last Vulcan they had, flying it done a flyby over the airport here it's pretty spectacular <laughs> Beast, isn't it? XG823. Pretty close, okay. What a beast! It's got some raw with it, some howl. Yeah, it's lovely and warm here. The sun's got out nicely now, it's cleared away. It's still a bit breezy here. So I can hear some aircraft fired up there. Fella type. One's just done a flyby. Yeah, pretty impressive. Old Vulcan. It landed here, but it'll never take off again. So this camera, this is the old part of the old airport. 
and they built the new bit over there new tower you know all the facilities and everything and lengthened the runway new lights three time act it and then bloody covid killed it all such is life eh So we pick up the road there and we've just come from this is the Roman wall path heading east so yeah that saved us a bit just means I don't have to go on that main road which is sort of a very dangerous road right onwards <laughs> Okay, we'll bring this to a close. So hopefully next time you see me, I should be on my Ribble e-bike. <laughs> What's the odds, eh? Fingers crossed, but I don't hold out much hope. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the next one.